What is up YouTube Fanta here? Today I am discussing the current problem that YouTube is happening, which is insane because it seems like YouTube is happening, having a new problem every month. This month, uh, lots of people are losing tons of subscribers. Now, it's not just us, it's not just people I know, it's everybody. Almost every single channel on YouTube has lost in the hundreds to sometimes in the thousands of subscribers. Now, some people said that this was expected, some people said that um, these were just inactive accounts, but YouTube actually came out on record on Twitter and said they don't know what's going on. So apparently this isn't just inactive accounts. And I've also heard from a couple people that they've had subscribers confirm that they were forcibly unsubscribed, which is insane and scary for a lot of people that do this as a career. Now, of course, White and I, we just do this for fun. Um, I don't feel like I'll ever have YouTube as a career. It'll always just be some kind of fun hobby I like to do, but it's still, it's not fun to watch your progress go back. I always want to be moving forward with the sub count. I always want to be moving forward in views and, you know, new people watching the stuff because it's, it's fun. I like talking to new people and it's not fun to take a 512 subscriber hit. That's that's huge, especially lately since the garage sale season has been bad, really bad, so our subscriber count hasn't been the greatest. So it's not fun to see all of a sudden, oh, I went from 21,000 to now I'm below 21,000 again. And that's not just me, guys. It's not just me. Dreamcast guy, that he lost over 1,100 subscribers. Retro Liberty lost over 900. Wood, he lost over 700. D Dave lost over 500 subscribers. It's crazy. Now, of course, these other guys, um, especially D Dave and Wood, aren't really feeling the burn as much just because their channel's been growing at such a significant rate. Same as same with Dreamcast Guy, but we're in a slump right now, and there's a lot of other smaller channels where even losing 20 subscribers is a huge hit. And I, it's just, it's it's making it discouraging for people to want to start becoming a YouTuber and creating your own channel and creating your own content. And that's not what YouTube's about. YouTube's about everybody coming together, creating videos that we all can enjoy and love and watch and support each other. And we all kind of grow together. It's great. Um, I mean, I've I've been able to talk to D-Dave now. Um, Dreamcast guy's a good friend of mine now. And it's it just... It sucks for us, but it really sucks for the people that are just getting into YouTube. I can't imagine if we had just started out and we're at like, I believe we're at like 300 in the first couple months, and I can't imagine losing 50 subscribers all of a sudden, going from that 300 mark, which was huge back then. It was always insane when we got another 100 subscribers. It was, it was awesome. I don't get me wrong. I still love every sub we get. Don't. Don't get me wrong there, but just when you used to see each individual sub come in, because now we, we kind of see it by the hundreds and thousands. Whereas back then we saw each individual sub, we couldn't believe that we we're getting one new sub every couple weeks, and it was it was great. And taking a blow like that of having 10% to 20% of your entire fan base that you thought you had just disappearing, that that's gotta be brutal. I, I can't imagine what these people are feeling like that are do, having this happen to them. And YouTube, YouTube is just not, I don't know what they're doing over there. I mean, YouTube is owned by Google, which is one of the biggest companies out there. And yet they keep having these kind of issues. There was the issue of people getting closed down, Boogie just got hacked, and there's these false claims and then there's the whole fine bros debacle and it's just one thing after another it just seems like every month something new is going wrong with YouTube I I think they just need a dedicated team Google needs to sit down look at how much money they're probably making from YouTube I know it's not nearly as much as their their other portions but they've got to be making quite a bit of money and it couldn't cost them that much to even have a small team just run for technical support if any channel has a problem, if they're hacked, to get their account back, stuff like that. I mean, Boogie has millions of subscribers, so this guy is obviously pulling in 
lots of money for YouTube because they take, I believe it's 45 to 54%, something like that, of the profit that you'd be making from ads. So they're, they're taking a huge chunk from people. So it's really surprising that they don't help out as much as they should, especially considering how much we give them. I know they're hosting the video. I know their whole platform is the reason that we can grow a fan base and we get to meet people like you guys. But it's just so frustrating to see them not really care when this kind of thing happens. And it's, it's really, it's their fault, honestly. It's, it's, of course, their fault that this glitch is happening. And they need to... They need to mend fences, they need to somehow restore these subscribers back to these people, including us. It'd be nice to get our subscribers back. Um, hopefully the people that were subscribed to us and that were active will resubscribe, but I, I just don't know. It's, it's all up in the air at this point. I really hope more people make videos about this. I'm sure they will, but it's, it's just frustrating that this kind of thing keeps happening when it really shouldn't be at all. It should never happen, especially with a big company like this. Anyway, that that's just my two cents in the whole matter. I really just wanted to say something. Um, I, I really want everyone to say something because I want Google to hear us. And me alone, we're not that big, but everybody collectively coming together and complaining about this problem and pointing it out, at least they'll hear all of us. So, we need to be heard. So, I, I recommend you guys go out and make videos about this as well. Even if it's just a small voiceover video like this. Just make something. Get get us heard. Because we really need it at this point. Because it's just going to keep getting worse and worse if we do nothing about it. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day.